Hello, YouTube. <laughs> after, after three months, three or four months, three months of me paying less than $20 a month, like 19 something for water, the city mailed me saying that, you know, they, they wanted to check out the meter. <laughs> Remember in December, I was getting this outrageous water bill, and then I started conserving water starting in December, and then January, February, March, April, my 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 bill kept going down to the point of the last three months. It's been like um, less than twenty dollars, yeah, the minimum, which is like nineteen something they charge you every month. So the city contacted me, thinking the water meter was broke or something. They didn't really give me a choice to say that I can serve. I emailed them. They said they'll note it, but they still sent someone out. So the guy came out, and he had me run the water, like a lot of water. I wasted a lot of water. Probably ran through more than 20 or 30 gallons just for him to check it out. Maybe even as much as 50 or 100 gallons. But he said the meter was broken, and he replaced it. So let's see what happens. I'm still conserving. So, I just paid my water bill just now, you know, less than 20 bucks. We'll see what they say on the next water bill. See if it goes up. If it goes up, then I'm gonna have to reset and re-monitor how much, you know, I'm using and how much they're charging. So they replaced the whole unit. We'll see what happens. I was hoping that I actually got it down to below. I think there's a, I give, they give you a certain amount threshold and then you pay more over a certain amount. I think that's how it works, I'm not sure. But we'll find out. So this next this next month, after this bill, which I just paid, if, if the meter was broken, it should go up. Unless they charge me for the 50 gallons of water I wasted while he was trying to install the new one. We'll see what happens with that. I did, did score something pretty good. I went to um, Thrifty, Thrifty uh, Produce and Meat Market. For those of you who have a Thrifty near you, it's like, um, I think it's like Hispanic, but they uh, they carry all sorts of foods for um, different cultures, including Asian. I went there and I was able to pick up like a bunch of food for 50, look at like, uh, Fifty-one dollars and twenty-five cents. I haven't left the grocery store for that low in ages, especially if you saw what I got. Um, so I can't show you because I'm driving right now. But if you guys want to see that, let me know. I want to get to the house. I'll show you what I got for fifty-one dollars and twenty-five cents. But quick rundown: I bought I bought two bottles of fish sauce from Vietnam. <laughs> I don't think you can get more authentic than the Vietnamese or Thai fish sauce. So I bought two bottles of those, and then I bought um, I bought a bunch of meat, like including ribeye steak, and um, you know I bought like two packets of ribeye steak. I got like the thin cut. I didn't get the thick cut because I'm you know I'm trying to cut the amount of money I'm using, and also trying to cut down the amount of meat I'm eating because I'm, I'm still. I'm having a hard time losing these last um, last 10 pounds I'm trying to lose here. 10, 15 pounds. Anyhow, I'm at a stoplight, so let me read what I got. I got two, two bottles, large bottles of fish sauce, boneless Boston butt steak, pork fat, boneless. I don't know what that is. But, um, oh, I think they just cut the pork meat, you know. Um, they cut chunks of pork meat with, with fat on um, Let's see, boneless Boston pork butt steak, beef bone in ribeye steak, two of those, beef chicken steak espadilla, espadilla? I think that, that's beef. I guess espadilla is some kind of some kind of dish they cook. I hope that doesn't, I hope espadilla doesn't mean um, beef wiener. <laughs> but those were pretty cheap. I got two two containers of those. And um, what else? 
I bought um, a whole bunch of vegetables. I bought I bought um, grape tomatoes. I bought cucumbers. I bought Chinese eggplant. I bought um, oh, I think it's Korean hot peppers because the Thai chili peppers are the most expensive ones. So I was like, well, you know what? I got I still have some frozen Thai chili peppers from last time, but I'll try the Korean peppers just because they were one of the cheaper ones it's like they had the Thai chili peppers most expensive and then the habaneros which I guess is mostly es espanol most mostly um, Spanish people use like habaneros I think right so those were like the second most expensive and then um, I just went with the um, well they also had um, what are those green ones that aren't that hot the the Spanish Spanish people use them. They're green and they're not hot. I forget what they're called. Serranos. Serranos aren't that hot. So I didn't get that. Even though sometimes I use serranos because they're cheap. But the Korean peppers were priced the same as the serranos. And they look kinda like Thai chili peppers but larger. I don't think I've ever eaten Korean peppers unless, you know, it was in the Korean barbecue when I went to my kid out to eat Korean barbecue uh, a couple months back. But it'll be interesting to, to see what that tastes like. I also bought some more onion stalks because I'm going to try to grow it again. I my last attempt to grow it, it kind of went bad, so I'll try I'll try it this time again. I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to try to grow it. Maybe it, maybe I'll, I'll split one and put it in the ground. And then maybe the other I'll keep inside the, the house with the um, cup. I think the last time I did it, I didn't use it. And the water get, you know, the, the onion, if you let it sit, the water gets all slimy. And then it gets nasty. You don't want to eat it. And then it starts to wilt and do weird stuff. So we'll see what happens with that. also bought a bunch of radishes for my salad at work. So I'm going to go ahead and sign out here because I'm, I'm almost... I'm in traffic, but um, if you guys want to see what the food looks like, the haul, let me know. Comment on this video, and when I get to the house, I'll unload it and show it off. Because it's really impressive. It's, um, it's quite a lot of meat. You know, and meat's super expensive. So Thrifty still has the best prices on meat. It's like, if, if I think if I went to buy this at, like, Walmart, okay, I'm probably looking at over a hundred dollars, at least seventy-five or eighty dollars, but I bet you more. So, because the the ribeye and stuff, you know, they had the more expensive ones, but like the more expensive, thicker ones, they were like nine dollars a pack. But I bought the thinner ones, which were like five, six dollars a pack, and it included like two ribeyes. And I know they're small. But I got it like that because of the price. But also, like I said, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to cut the amount of meat I'm eating because I did buy some um, steaks and I've been eating the steaks. But you know, when you eat it as a steak, one cut is only one meal. So that gets expensive. Let's say you, you bought even a cheap ribeye. You know, the one I bought here for let's say six dollars. Two ribeyes. That's three dollars each. I think three dollars for meat. It's kind of expensive for one meal. Maybe some people think that's cheap, but for me, $3 for one meal is kind of expensive. But if I take that ribeye, which is really good meat, um, and I cook it up like a steak, but then I cut it into pieces, and I put it into my fried rice, that $3 steak will make me about, you know, probably about three or four servings of food. So becomes less than a dollar a serving for you know ribeye steak meat in my fried rice or uh, lo mein noodles or something I make so that's gonna be the plan I will still eat steaks and stuff like that you know you know myself, but not as often because I'm trying to stretch the the budget you know I'm trying to see how how low I can go <laughs> and still eat fairly well not not just be eating lo mein noodles all day long you know that the fact that that I thrive on rice, you know, makes it so that um, it it's not really 
it's not really too much of a change of diet except that I'm eating more like an Asian than an American. I think Americans for the most part eat meat as the main main dish and you have like vegetables and maybe a little rice on the side. Whereas in Asia, the rice is the main dish and the meat and the vegetables are on the side. And even vegetables is kind of the main dish. Because probably because meat is kind of expensive in Asia. Cheaper than here, but for an Asian it would be very expensive. Let me read your comments here and see if you guys want to see the food. If you do, I'll make a video um, you know, once I get inside and get settled. So it'll probably be about another 10, 15 minutes. Good to see you on here, Doji. Did you um did you get your your patch yet? Let me know when you get it. Colin says get a few drums and do water catchment. It would charge you wasted water, wasted water. I was thinking this is what I was thinking of doing. I was thinking of crawling underneath the um the mobile home and patching into the the bathtub. You know, the water from the bathtub. Close off the bathtub water pipe, so it's a sealed system. So the bathtub and maybe the sink, the kitchen, not the kitchen, but the bathroom sink, have that water go to my pipe, and then have the pipe go out and water the garden. So then you could water the garden with bath water, which, you know, should be just soap, you know, hopefully nothing toxic. So, um... That would allow me to do two things. One, I can conserve water for watering. And when I shower, it automatically waters. <laughs> it won't do the whole yard, but maybe a garden in the back. I was going to do, I'm definitely going to try to do the, I found that the, um, the laundry machine in that shed, they had a pipe for draining the water, but it turns out it doesn't drain anywhere. They just punched the hole through the wall and ran a pipe that runs outside. So I found that out when I was running laundry the other day and all this water started spewing out all over the backyard. I was like, what the heck? It's just throwing water all over the yard randomly. So I'm thinking of um, having to buy some pipes, which is expensive now. But I might get some pipes and catch that water coming out of the, um, you know, the, the outside pipe for the, the laundry machine, the washing machine. And have that go to the garden. So I'm thinking of catching water that I'm using from the city. And then using that to water garden automatically. And um, some rain catchment. You know. To, especially if they start billing me, me more than $20 a month. Which means that my, um, my efforts to cut down wasn't what caused the price to go down to zero pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> that it was actually a broken meter. So we're going to find out, but I'm going to continue trying to conserve. And if it's still low, I'll still probably do all that stuff because, you know, the whole idea is to see how far I can push living on the, living off the grid while still on the grid so that I would have to pay minimal, you know, minimal expenditures. So uh, I'm going to go inside and then um, I'll, I'll probably do another live stream in about 10, 15 minutes. So, you know, when I sign out here, if you want to watch that, Look for that live stream. It'll show the food haul so we can see exactly what I got for uh, $51 and $51 and 25 cents from Thrifty Supermarket. Take care, everyone. Thank you for joining me. Bye-bye now.